Hello, Aquarius. It is time for your mid-September to October read of this current year. Hello. How do you do? Thank you so much for the views, subscriptions, and requests for personal reads. I greatly appreciate it, you guys. Make this all even more exciting than what it already is, and I can't tell you how much fun I have with y'all. Right? Right. Anyway, back to business. Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Remember, it won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Just boop your nose and away we go. For any newcomers, if you want a personal reading, all the info is in the description box below. First readings on the house, of course. Everything else comes with a price, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Boop your nose again, just because you're cute. Alright, Aquarius, you are still burdened, and I'm pretty sure you're going to launch yourself into space from whoever is bothering you. It's like you got to drag some shit. You're tired of it, right? Because it does not make you happy with the sun card reverse. Possibly dealing with a Leo. With your thoughts and feelings, we have the Seven of Cups. You're looking at what your options are. Like, do I go on a rocket ship or a submarine? The root of that is the Ace of Cups. New love. New foundations. New beginnings. New apologies. You feel like you've been cramped in the crave in a cave or a church and you want out the church. You're sick of the church. You're just like, I need out, and you're looking at all these options. It's like you can't even leave your own home almost. You don't want to fight for any of this over here at the night with the Prince of Swords. You just want to quietly go over on this side. Right? And you definitely want to close the door. Maybe with a Gemini. You're done with a relationship, that's for sure. Let's see. Your vibration. King of Swords Reverse. You guys are just hella pissed. You are just hella pissed. You're hella annoyed. You just want to be secluded, alone, isolated, and it feels like someone is not leaving you alone. And it's getting on your nerves. That's what I got for you so far, Aquarius. I was to say, I was an Aquarius moon myself. I kind of get it, because it's just like, well, people just leave me the fuck alone. Like, I just, I need, I need that time to myself, and they're all going to come at me with some bullshit, right? I feel you on that. I get it. I really do. But it's literally like someone won't leave you alone, and it's just getting on your nerves. It's like you appreciate the attention, because it's always nice to know someone will chase after you. But at this point, it's just like you feel like the movie The Fugitive, where you just need this person to back up or go away or never exist ever. You know, one of those three, right? So let's see Aquarius. Ten of Wands right here. You are definitely burdened. So you're trying to manifest some shit, right? Right. In order to get out of this trap to confined feeling. Because you're just done. You are get, you're tapping. You're just like, you know what? I'm good. I, I am so fresh and ready to be served like a Subway sandwich. Just get me out of the store, you know. Not the sun reverse. Could be Leo, right? Could be a Capricorn, the devil. There's lore and magnetism right here. Uh, you're tired of being unhappy. And it is very attractive right now to be a bit of a sneakster. And leave everything just fucked. You, like, that's your mood. It's just like, I don't care if it ruins everything. I'm leaving one way or another. Like, I've tried the window. I've tried the second floor. I've tried the third floor. I got on the damn roof. I jumped off the roof. And this person managed to, get, to like, come down too and survive. You're just at that point right now where it's just like, it does, it, at, like, at any cost. You know? Seven of Cups. Thoughts and feelings about what options you can take to birth something even newer. You're not being shy or timid about this either. Because, like, you know that if you are, like, you might not be able to reap or benefit anything. Huh. 
Yeah, you don't think that there's anything to gain from, like, trying to reawaken or morph this uh, judgment right here. Like, you're just like, mmm. Like, I think emotionally you want to say something, but if you do, that's not going to lead to what you're trying to awaken here. It might just ruin the chances with the Seven of Pentacles up there. You know? Oh, shit, I forgot about all this other stuff. I'll get it in a second after I get the Ace of Cups. All right, Ace of Cups. You're hoping for a new beginning right here, but someone's got a mouth on them, right? This is the root of the emotions, by the way. Someone's got a mouth. Then we got the Hierophant. It's like... Mmm. It's like someone ran their mouth and taught you really quick that they're never going to give you your Ten of Cups with them, right? Go over everything with the right away because I totally forgot about it because I'm that guy, you know. There are some things that are like still like, nah, but I don't think you care. I really don't, Aquarius. Like, I think this person, if they're, if they're not around you, they're still in your head and it's just like, ah, uh, or some shit. Or they got you on their brain so much that you're picking it up and it's getting on your nerves really heavy. Like, oh my god. Like, no. The answer is no. I can only say no so many times, you know? With this Ten of Wands over here, yeah, this, okay. Every time you try to, like, start something new, this person comes up with some bullshit. It is handed to you, like, here, hold this, like a three-year-old, just coming up with nothing, just being like, yeah, I need to hold this. It's like uh, freaking french fries covered in ketchup just straight out their hands and then they just manage to wiggle it into your hand and you're just sitting there like, why? Like, why? And then they're just like, hey. And then they run off to get more shit, like some dirt or something to put in your hands, right? Like over here where you're like, <laughs> where you're scheming. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the next car. <laughs> where you're scheming and such because you're unhappy. That shit's gonna work. That shit will work. <laughs> like, that's... I'm sorry. That's, like, actually genuinely funny to me. It's like, all that scheming you're trying to do, it'll work. Um, but you gotta put in some work in order for it to work. You gotta come with... Pe you gotta get some people to help you put some schemes in and shit. Like, who's gonna have the getaway car? Who's going to have the gun? Please don't shoot anybody. I'm just saying. Like, how are you gonna stage this robbery and kidnapping to where, like, no one's gonna look for you ever again? But make sure that the person who's chasing you isn't gonna know. Yeah, that like you're scheming on it, and and I think it could work. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy! Crazy little alien fuzzy people, you. All right, this seven of cups right here. Yeah. Overbearing mother, unfaithful spouse, just somebody who expects a lot from you. The motherfucker who brings like. Ketchup fr covered fries to shove in your hand and act like you're their mother. I, I think that's the problem. I think they treat you like you're their mother. Which is like awkward to say the least, but you know, whatever. Uh, Ace of Cups right here. This person like made you feel betrayed when they really came out with their true feelings when it came to you. Like, you know, all grumbly and shit, just being like, la, 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 like they couldn't control their emotions or some shit, and then just ran their mouth just enough. They just said enough. And then it just clicked in your head, like, why am I dealing with this person? Like, they don't do a damn thing for me. They piss me off regularly. And now they're doing this shit. They dare do this shit to me. I will put Visine in their coffee cup. Don't do that. Like, you know, don't do that. Whoever said that, don't do that. <laughs> oh, Lord, Aquarius. All right, King of Swords, your vibration right now. You are just in a badass mood. Um, yeah, you're definitely coming up with some ways. You're just waiting for the right time. Just be like, I'm going to get in that fox den. Mm -hmm. And then when that time comes, you will make the wheel move. You're waiting for the wheel to turn because you feel like you really are stuck in that Ten of Swords energy all black and clouded. It is like got your vision entirely right now. What about this? That attitude, please. 
Yeah, you want to come back from the... You, you want to get back to where you were before you were thrown out the door. It's like this person keeps leaving you out in the cold, but then they want to follow you out in the winter just being like, you know, we should do this. Or we should do that. Or maybe you can do this. Or maybe you can do that. And you're just like, you know, why don't you do something? Like, why are you following me around acting like I'm the one who's supposed to be helping you out or some shit? Like, do your own shit. Go on, get And then they just keep following you, asking the same questions again. Yeah. And that's what's putting you in a bad attitude. It's like they won't leave you alone even after they keep putting you out and putting you out and acting like you don't matter. That's why you got this escape plan going on right here. At least you're attempting what it feels like. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You are stuck. Uh, you are basically stuck in a cave or a church or something. You're just like, I really need out of this bitch. I only say the church thing because like I knew an Aquarius once and we were trying to co-op on writing a story and she kept telling me she wanted out of this church but it was just like, you know, you can tell me that in the story instead of like, you know, expecting me to do the writing so you could just go, like, I don't know, it was annoying a little bit. It's just like, well, if you want out of the church, write that it's time to get out of the church. Like, don't tell me to get out of the church. Like, we're just there, like, making communications and such, right? But, like, she was, like, way too impatient. But that's beside the point. But that's what it reminds me of. It was, like, she started getting claustrophobic in the story. Which was weird, because it was only, like, three pages, maybe, when we got in there. Like, I just had my character piss on her leg because it was a lycanthrope and shit. Like, it, it was a weird one. It was a weird one, but that's because she's a vampire and they're dead. So they really didn't carry a scent or whatever. But it's whatever. Um, but yeah, it feels like you're stuck in a cave. Like, someone might be all, like, scattered when it comes to, like, actually seeing things. Because they're dazed and confused. Their emotions might be running high. They might be, like, you know, I must preserve myself. Because I don't know what is going on. Meanwhile, someone isn't delivering a message about a new beginning or a new start right here with the Ace of Wands reverse and the Page of Coins reverse. Someone isn't expressing that. Could be you just being like, you know what? No, 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 it, it's cool, thanks. All right, so there's Nine of Pentacles. I got an idea, it's powerful, it's dynamic. You're like, I found a way out of this damn church. There's a window or a chimney. I don't care if I break my neck, you know. Like, there is a loss of opportunity with this too. And all that's brought is conflict so far. Let's see. It's kind of like if you don't get this opportunity, you are just going to throw a fit. You know, you are just going to cause a lot of troubles, Aquarius, I feel like. For everybody, not just you, not just a few, not one person. You're going to, like, take it out on everybody if this does not work out for you. You are just going to lose your shit. Now, you're not saying or battling anything with the, uh... Knight of Swords, either. You got your back turned to it all. Because once again, you're not happy with the Sun card. You're feeling tortured and crucified with the Nine of Swords about all this shit. But you're trying to preserve your strength. Leo twice, I must say. You're trying to have that endurance and fortitude with all of this. With this Four of Wands reversed right here, though, or at this door closed, you're ready to go out and be a fool and explorer. Close that door and, like, see new shit. Right? You're just a little bit dazed and confused about that scenario a little bit. Because, you know, you might actually have a family involved in this. Like, what am I going to do about the people I'm leaving behind, I feel like? Because you do mesh in there very well with them. Like, you really got to take into consideration, like, where you're going to go with all of it once you get a chance. Might be work environment scenario too. Let's see. Top card, Queen of Cups. Someone's yeah. The, you will be absolutely positively livid if this does not work in your favor. If you don't get out of this cave at some point, right? Like I feel like you are excessively pissed. And you really don't want to offer your cup to anything at all. Like, you're not offering your cup. You're not fighting to, for this shit. 
You're not trying to fight for this page over here, right? And you're trying to make a wish come true, Aquarius. Behind all of this, you're still trying to manifest that wish. All right. That's what I got for you, Aquarius. End of the reading. So, if you enjoyed this, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. I greatly appreciate it, but it's really up to you. But you guys try to take care until the next time, okay? Um, please don't poison anybody with Visine. That's not a good idea. Because most people use way too much. Okay? Okay. Anyway. Um, you guys be good. Love you. See you later. Bye-bye.